Yeah, I mean, obvious shades of, of Ronde Gadsden, the second last year, uh, a kid that, you know, 60-plus receptions, almost 1,000 yards, uh, did have six touchdowns, but, I mean, almost 16 yards per catch. Like, that's the type of production that you can get from a big wide receiver. Who averaged almost 20 yards a catch last year. Yeah, so exactly. this is a guy that can really make plays down the field. Yeah, and you add, you add him into Robert and I's system. You also – while we've put a lot on Javante Vereen, we, I mean, hell, I released a video this morning talking about, you know, why I thought Javante Vereen was the top secret weapon for this offense going into this year. You add somebody like this to that wide receiver group, you give Javante Vereen kind of something to, to look to as well to say, all right, this is what the expectations are. This is a guy that's, you know, similar size weight to me. I'm not saying Javante Vereen suddenly becomes somebody that's you know further down the depth chart because of this, because I do think he still has a big role. But you look at the system and you look at what you could potentially get in Bradley Rosner, and that immediately changes the outlook of this yeah. offense, right? Yeah, I think Terrell Timmons is in that same boat. You know, maybe yeah. different receivers, but you know somebody Corey's got to emerge as the one. There has to be a go-to receiver this year, and there is. You know, Robert and I typically has a guy that is a go-to guy, so. It it just it makes it would make everything much easier in my opinion. I, again, I think we're both high on Kevin Conception. We're both high on Javante Vereen, and we believe that Terrell Timmons Jr. is going to be really good. But at the same time, you know, you've got two 18 year olds and a 19 year old, and yeah. is that really with a veteran quarterback what you you need? Absolutely not. You need another veteran. So I feel like he would connect well with Armstrong, both two older guys. And it would really just give NC State uh, more options. And I, I think it would allow all the, the three aforementioned guys and, and a lot of the other receivers, Corey, to kind of play freely and not press because, you know, as it gets, you know, crunch time and big moments and games, you know, you're going to be turning to guys essentially if you didn't get Black Bradley Rosner who have produced little, I mean, virtually nothing. <laughs> um, they are not – and it's not, no fault of their own. They're young. And the only way you can, you know, get experience is to get opportunities. But I think this would just allow everybody to take a deep breath and maybe allow them to develop at their own pace rather than being forced to boom, boom, boom. Every week we've got to get the ball six, five, six, seven times to this freshman or this sophomore. Uh, I think it is a no-brainer. And it would be one of the bigger pickups NC State's had in the transfer portal maybe probably ever, in my opinion, because of just the production and what he would bring and just what NC State needs. I mean, desperately needs size on the outside.